Salonan. What a lovely crowd. Thank you guys for coming tonight. Woo! I see beautiful ladies in the house. No, some of you should not say yes. You should, should be realistic. We are in church. <laughs> I see yellow bones in the house. We love you. We appreciate you. Both original yellow bones and self-made yellow bones. We appreciate you. Because nowadays people can self-make themselves into yellow bones. But when you, you look at them, fridge, Coca-Cola. I see dark people in the house. We appreciate you. Yeah. She's so proud, just like how the women do it on Instagram. Who oh, black is gold. You're lying. Black is dark. I see we have short people in the house. We appreciate you. We love you. No, I love short people. They're just so down to earth. And you have an advantage if you're short. You go to Edgar's and they've run out of clothes. You can just go to the baby section and pick some clothes. We love you. We appreciate you. But I feel like there are some songs that when you are short, you should not sing to in church. I went to this show and the choir came on stage. And then comes this short person. For Jesus came down. And he lifted me up For Jesus came down I'm like, Evan, you are still down there, just stay there See, we have tall people in the house Sitting there looking bossy Feeling like you can already see 2019 If there's someone who's very tall next to you, just look for them Somewhere in the ceiling Just look for them Somewhere in the ceiling, and ask them, no matter where you go, remember the road that will lead you home. That will lead you home. Walking in, I saw my ex. Um, primary school teacher <laughs> she's sitting there you know teachers long ago used to beat her hey? too much though I did not feel it because I was gifted myself I did not feel much of it but I feel like teachers long ago used to beat so much there is one man who sang a song and in his song, you can tell that teachers used to beat more than the policemen. 
Because in his song, whatever they were doing, the policemen could not hit them enough. They had to hand them over to the teachers. Mapurisa, emuno muharare, akati wanati chima toto to, wakano mangara kunama ticha edu, aiwi aiwi chamboko chandi. I see we have pastors in the house. I love them so much. The only problem with pastors is tomorrow. Like, ah, Sani. <laughs> ah, that was beautiful. Ah, but this mouth of yours <laughs> needs the blood of Jesus. Ah, Sani. And then the preaching part. After seeing all this successful show, tomorrow I'm sure they are teaching about tithe. Malachi 3 verse 10. Bring all your tithe into the storehouse. Hallelujah. See, we have different people in the show. It's so lovely to have you guys. And I see one or two ex-girlfriends of mine in the show. And I'm looking at two of them. They are sitting together. They are all breaking. And they don't know they used to drink from the same well. They're just sitting there. And then there's one particular one who's looking at me. And she's looking so sad. Like, oh my God, what did I kick away here? Look at this man. She's a problem. They say, Gule Lilizwe. talking about exes in the house I saw one couple looking at me just smiling feeling proud oh baby but I'm my ex <laughs> do you know it's nice to bring your wife or your uh, husband to a comedy show but when others are laughing at everything you have to be choosy at what you are laughing at <laughs> especially if you are a woman imagine Nego comes here it's like you know what you know what? If you want a good man, get a February man. As a woman, you can't go, ooh, yeah, ooh. Otherwise, ooh, yeah, ooh. Or so you've tested a February man before. <laughs> so you now want a February man. Okay, I'm leaving. Ah, no, sweetie, don't leave. You know women have like, this way of making a, a man sober up and, and cool down. They just choose two stupid words and you are calm. Like, uh, baby, me, I'm leaving since you are, you like the brown man. No, baby, stay, Kaya. When are you, uh, ah? <laughs> baby, when are you, uh, you are? I'm what? You are so sweetie. And then the issue is done by so sweet. The issue is done. So, so sweet. Anyway, let's go into 2018. My 2018 was just a one. Long January. 
One January came, I was happy and excited, just like everybody, doing resolutions, new clothes, new job, new wife, new start, pneumonia, everything new. So excited. Started well, as it always does. And four days later, I got a gig in South Africa. I just went there to speak for 10 minutes. And I was given 15,000 rands. And I felt like, wow, I've made it. 2018 is my year. And I took the 15,000 rands. I brought it back home. I started asking myself, what do I do with this money? 15,000, ah, ah, 2018 is a good year. 15,000 rands, ah, let me move out of my parents' house. Ah, 15. If I get a room, a bed, a curtain, a two-plate stove, and a charger, I'm good to go. I'm good. And I come home, I send this uncle of mine to talk to my dad because my, oh, and he's here. Love you, Terry. Love you, love you, Terry. I send an uncle to go and tell him because he normally does things the you know the old traditional way he wants you to send someone and that person went to him he told him no and never says he's grown up so he's decided to move on blah, 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 blah. he's like okay in the evening tuba sondela <laughs> jaha i was like ah vibudi akazwadi rwajecha I go there and I sit there quietly. It's like, uh, I am Danami. I, I, I heard your, your request. And no, I think um, you can go ahead with your plan. But man, I'm Danami. I'm a comedian. Okay. I, I bless you, Danami. And any time, and you feel like coming back. Just come back home. And why this you are still talking about and it's okay. And it's okay. I couldn't wait for some freedom. I okay. Yes. Keep your house and I keep my room. And it's okay. I could not wait. I was waiting for some freedom to do what? <laughs> to be able to cook for myself what I want any time. I'm telling you, because I was that naughty son who loves finishing food and eating food, who wakes up in the middle of the night, goes to the fridge. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't want to go to the kitchen. Oh, mama, I don't want to go to the kitchen. I don't want to in every family, there's always that one person. And I think I was, I was that kind of a person who, who is so troublesome when it comes to food. My dad gave me permission. I moved into my room. Reality started kicking in. Staying in my room, one room, the bed, the cupboard, the stove. My friend Albert comes to me, ah, my guy. Guys, you cannot lobola in one room. Lea jala nja nifi pilo fight. Lea kuna likriti mpupu. I, one thing I had not given thought to is that the 15,000 runs is not Ruth. Who said in Ruth 1 verse 16? Wherever you go, I will go. 
Wherever you are, I will be. I had not given thought to it. Every day when I started using that money, it started to finish. I think that man was saying, once what I can bala. Five thousand, ten thousand runs, five thousand, one thousand runs. By the time we got to the end of February, I had nothing. Now, for me to go back to my father and say, ah, Baba, in the first month, he says, Yeah, sure. Just couldn't add up. February, I developed this network of friends. Actually, I became a bank. Peace. Ule fifty dollars. Afagabra, I will give you on Friday. He sends me the fifty dollars. Friday comes and peace calls. How far, bro? And we all know if you are living in Zimbabwe that the, the term how far has nothing to do with distance. It's someone requesting their money back. So peace will call. Hey, bra, ah, nego. How far, bra? Peace. Mawiza, ule fifty dollars. Okay, send a bra. Peace. I'm a wizard, man. Monday comes. Oh, Lanja, I'm out for a Liz, we will have 50. Especially peace. I have a friend of mine who's called Peace, stays in Bedbridge. He knows every time I say, hey, man, I'm in need of money. And what he ended up doing is he would just give me. And when he wants to use it, he will borrow it from me. <laughs> you know that thing where you borrow your friend a jazz? And they keep it so much that you have to borrow it to use your own jazz. Like, I want to take this keeper, Simon Funu. Then he's a visa because he knows I never return whatever I take from him. That was February, bad month. We go into March. March was a bad month as well. Poloni tried to kill us. Hysterosis. But when we got to the end of March, things started to shape up. We got bookings for April. We got bookings for December. I'm like, okay. So this is the rise. Came April. I had this booking in South Africa. Um, it was a big show. And from Zimbabwe, it was Chelsea and I. We traveled to South Africa for a gig. We are so happy, excited. I'm telling my friends, how peaceful When I come back from Josie, uh, they'll know me. We board a bus. Well, we get to the park station. We call the person who's supposed to come pick us up, the promoter. After waiting for one hour, comes this man walking so fast. Oh my guys, yo! Yo, Ewena, Mutiela, Yo, Nego, right? Yo, Sintanda Langana, Yo, guys, Yo, Anasi, Yo, actually, he gives a high five. He comes to me, he gives me a hug. And I'm there. Yo, Yo, guys, Yo, Jovic loves you, guys, Yo. Let me take you guys to your place, eh? Yeah, yeah. Then he grabs our bags. Suitcase. He's walking super fast. Ngego, masieni chobekile na masieni. How? Kaulesa tu. We get to the car. And I'm just there going, yes, you. Do you a job big? Yes, you. Yes, you. And I'm tightening my this side of my pants very hard. We get to the car. He's like, yo, ngego, yo. You know what? That's my book on my video, ne? Oh, you look so fat, yo. Hey, what you wearing at you, The guy is English, but yo, are you guys in Lambile? Obviously, we were hungry, and I was like, yeah, man, we are hungry. Like, okay, 
um, okay, Masiensi Ogudla, um, before I take it to your hotel, um, some in a restaurant, ne? Kona le restaurant, um, okay, Masieni, walk super fast. Hey, ne, go oza. Mm-mm, chili crumble in the pan, just crumble this one. We get to the restaurant, we order meals, huge meals. Whenever we are, we are, we are invited to uh, the countries outside or the cities outside, because these promoters normally negotiate our payment, so we will have to qualify it with the food that we, that we order. We get there, we order all this food and all this. You know, my mind is so confused. I'm scared of Jobek. I'm scared of this man. I'm scared of everything. These ladies come to me, you say, so you want an egg? How do you want it done? Well done after half done, Yan. Can I have my, my egg? Well done, la. Half done. Okay, Nego. When you have chicken, you want mild, um, uh, hot, very hot. I'm like, yo, we have bandage up. Can I have very hot? I'm thinking it's temperature. Comes the chicken. It's hot, it's chilly, and we, we are eating the chicken. Just when we are about to finish. Oh, guys. Yazini. I forgot my card, the motor. Yo, can you, can you guys pay? Man, figure motor is only guess. And I look at this lady. I see she wants to give a generous face to say we have four hundred. And I'm going. Yin, we are kuduma. Right. I'm Nick. And she's like, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay. She gives him the money, I'm like, yo, we're in Jopek, we had 400 runs to keep us, and you've given this man 350. Okay, let's see. Takes us to our hotels, takes us to our rooms. We do rehearsals, second day rehearsals, third day it's the show, the day of the show. We do the show, the show is a success. I'm like, ah, no, Musa. I hear no, I go, I after the show, he comes walking super fast as always. Hey, guys, your bag is not safe. Let's get into the car. Asambe, Masien. He gets to the hotel, opens the doors. Yo, you know what, guys? I'm actually in Malien, uh, because of security reasons. Um, I don't have it now. Uh, I left the Google uh, show with the accountant. So, you guys, I look I'm like, oh. <laughs> Walks back to his car super fast. I get into the hotel. As soon as I get there, this man says, uh, um, Mr. Nayagu, um, uh, how are you? You well? So they know me in South African hotels. <laughs> no, no, I'm well. I'm tired. I um, just want to go rest. Okay, oh, oh, okay, uh, okay, um, okay. Please see us tomorrow morning. Just come see us tomorrow morning. I'm thinking, ah. Celebrity coming to you guys. Why don't you come this side? <laughs> will you will, will you call Trevor? Not say hey, Trevor, come here. You guys didn't tell it. I wake up in the morning and I'm just sitting on my bed. I'm waiting for the promoter to come and pay us. And then we can leave and go back home. I'm thinking, ah, this is the promoter now. Yeah, we my lian. I open the door, it's the hotel attendants. They come there and I come, Mr. Nebu, would like to talk to you at the admin um, reception. We go to the reception. When I get there, like, ah, oh, Mr. Nebu, um, how are you saying? I'm, I'm good, I'm super well, I'm good. Okay, um, Nebu, um, we have uh, this paper here. Take the paper, and it's the bill. Like, uh, okay, uh, this is a bill I can see, um, but uh, someone is meant to take care of this bill. Yeah, no, it's, it's okay, no worries. She is on the other side of the counter, and I'm on this side of the counter. And I'm starting to shiver, but I cannot let her see that I'm shivering. You know, as a celebrity, you don't just show yourself. <laughs> I'm shivering. Like, um, no, I think there must be a, a misunderstanding. 
Okay, now just a minute, just a minute. And that voice, smelly, voice, smelly. Are we winning, sir? I'm no, just uh, it's just the, it's just the battery here is doesn't do with your network here in South Africa. In my head, I am so scared doing all these kinds of tongues. Ramakashendarai, Teramashakashita, Kundaramasha. You know what? Um, let me just go to my room. And we'll sort this out very soon. I go to my room. Okay, so now I have a debt. About 9,000 rands of a bill. On top of my money that hasn't been paid. And these people are not letting me out of this hotel. Before I pay. Hey, I know peace is always generous. But 9,000 rands. Ah, guys. Then I call this mother of ours who stays in South Africa, very lovely mother. No, mama, lava ba de malinje, ba de maliza bunja ba mali dom teto. The type that would ask her husband, "Na ivele tuele tuele kambe wuche baba." Mama nje, mama wa mi nje. She's a good person nje. Ah, mommy, um, we are stuck in Jobek and okay, okay. How, Sunny, how much do you need? She sends the money. She comes and fetches us and go to her house. We stay there. And I'm on Wi-Fi. I try to trace the promoter's number. It's not going through in any of my social accounts. I was like, yeah, he kolile. He kolile. I then take someone's account, messenger account, and I call him. Surprisingly, it goes through. Um, hello? Bani? Um, it's Nego. Oh, Nego! You're on foot. Um, I'm okay, thanks. Um, I just wanted to do a follow-up on my payment and uh, the hotel bill. You're on the phone. I'm going to go to the hotel. I'm going to go to the hotel. We're going to have a funeral. Yeah. I'm going to go to the hotel. I'm going to go to the hotel. Uh, but you owe us and you know. Eish, yeah, yeah, as in there, but Manjala Bantu, Bangfa, who think by Paul Pierre, I know, who's on my look at the Stratis and the Coffin Yak, and I cannot be there. Okay, besides the coffin issue, I'm asking myself, how will you carry the coffin with your walking speed? Ufwen is Dumbo says, I said, as Pumulen, as Pumulen, as Pumulen. Um, okay, so when do you think you're going to be back? Yo, I think it's a month. Oh, okay. Um, can you just take care of whatever you, you owe us as soon as you are back? Oh, okay, okay. Yo, I'm going to go to the house. Guys, do you know what you're going to go to the house? I'm going to go to the house. I'm like, okay, it's okay, fine. We come back to Zimbabwe. More debts, no money. Peace, wisdom, leaves we. Clifford are calling and they need their money and I don't have it. I'm there sitting in my room. I think just three days after the show. And I, I, I see him popping up on my WhatsApp status viewers. You know, someone can tell you they are offline and they forget to, to sort and switch off that WhatsApp, WhatsApp status thing. And I'm just looking at him and... You, you owe me, but you have the guts to be on WhatsApp. Huh? We are the Colonel. When I call it.
Kuchi Kotwa na kubizi Uvula ma status wami When I swine Kotwa na kubizi Uvula ma status wami The guts to be going on WhatsApp and posting all these nice pictures, but you owe me, and you are telling me you forgot. You, you know, one thing that, that, that's killing us as Christians is lies. Let me start about promoters, show promoters. We used to see this in the secular um, world where they would put this poster and put these beautiful ladies. I'm like, there's going to be free ladies. You see these beautiful ladies. And you go to the show not because of anything. Just because it's a beautiful lady. Get it there and see. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? What now it has come to gospel show promoters. They put this big artist. She's coming. She's coming. Come day of the show. The artist is like, I, I, I don't know. He's in Guinea. Love and over anyone. Even when you come into the church, there is so much lying that's going on on stage. You see a full, fully saved Mzalwane coming on stage. After getting a job through a bribe, and connections like your nears who go to Bazalwan. Who Okolun Kulubagiti? You can continue lying, but remember, hell is waiting. And <laughs> there's a saying that says, in hell, the part that will be burning most is the one that you've seen with most. <laughs> While some are going, shh, 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 shh. You will be going shh. Zagadia.
We are home. We are broke. Back to minus six. No money, no confidence to call peace and ask for money. Everything is just dead. Then I get nominated for the Blauyo Arts Awards. I'm like, ah, my song, Vela Ah, we'll, we'll take the award and I ah, know. They will give me a token of appreciation then, ah. I, I think I, I can mend one or two. Comes the awards night. This song never wins. Huh? Well, even yesterday, this guy's made from his own thing win. I think the reason is I should change my marketing game. I'm, I'm not good in pushing people to say, hey, can you please vote? Can you please vote? Can you? Next year, if I get nominated, I'll choose two campaign managers. One of them has to be from Long Reach. I tell you, if your relative joins the Long Reach, you are in for. And one thing about Long Reach, all those people you tell us they've met you, they are now in 500. We never see them with our eyes. Long Reach, maybe they will help me push. The second person has to be from Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> ah, definitely. I know my song will win next year. Jehovah's Witnesses are so persistent. One day, I was still staying in my father's house. We have no jura also. I think they just ushered themselves in. Two, two old ladies. He said, ah, that's what I'm doing. What you see? My head down. What you see? Ah, we are the man's less two lot than him. Going to the house, I fetch the water and the chairs. I give them the chance. Ah, ah, we are chasing Abantuna, but we are seeing an engine. I'm like, <laughs> my father doesn't want me to bring girls. What if he finds me with you ladies inside? <laughs> what, what, what do you want this man that to think? It's like ah, no ah. Okay, ah, all right, Tanam, I see as we see so tinge was so yako. Oh, we are Abu was the winner. Oh, good tea. It was Sasalako Liminjan. I'm like, yeah, Sasa, we after church say for any. No, it was Sasa Yako. I'm like, okay, this conversation is not ending. I'm like, sorry, uh, before Pendula, Pagiti Inja, I am a Bruno Nigelai Bonala. They left. So next year I have long reach and I have a Jehovah's Witness. I know definitely will take the cup. It's okay, it is well. We move into June. Guys, do we even need to talk about my June? Obviously, by now you know I wasn't or tropically qualified. According to June, not qualified, still broke. We go into July. July, I'm still broke. We go into the elections. I didn't know much about the elections, but I just knew that there was one man who was promised some 50, 15 billion from USA. I, I, we, we, we jump July. We go into August. August, we're scheduled to travel to United Kingdom to do a show. Then three weeks back, uh, just before the show, the promoter calls me. Like, ah, Mr. Nagu, um, are you, how are you, son? Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I can't wait to come there. Huh? I'll bring you my dandy. You know how, how diasporans love this Zimbabwean food. I'll bring you everything. I told me everything. He's like, ah, yes, son. <laughs> oh, but I just called uh, to inform you that we are not doing the show. On the 25th anymore. Yeah, because of one or two issues, we will postpone. That wasn't the challenge. The challenge now was in the people and the friends that you know I'm supposed to be living for UK. <laughs> Moment, 
moment you start meeting all of them day by day. Ah, katukona. In my head, I'm like, yeah, unkona. Why are you asking me if I'm here? You me here? Don't ask me unkona ngilapo. Ah, wow. You meet the other one. Kati, 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 likona. And and there are some that I know. They were happy that the, the journey wasn't a success. You know when you have followers, it's not everyone who's following you because they love you. There's some who just they And if you are here, can I give you the mic? Oh, I'm But there's no one here. But it was a tough situation again because I need money and I have a reputation to keep. Just bring up these stories. Well, the show was postponed to October. So at least there was a leeway to say, ah, no, October, guys, ah, no, we just uh, changed one or two things. August passes by. I'm still broke. And this is 2018. And we are past the half of the year. And I'm still broke. Come September, September started so good. Just the day before September, I got a message from Dr. Doom. Um, what happened is initially when I met him in UK the year before, he said to me, oh well man, I love how you work and I'd love to bring you over to one of my biggest shows and we will keep in touch. And he never did. Till the day before the show, it's like, um, hey, bro, um, are you able to come to South Africa to my show tomorrow? I'm like, April. <laughs> Man, do you know how big you are? Able, able. Do, you're asking me as if it's a, I, I have a choice. Before I replied, him, I just said, Moya wa moya vum. Moya wa moya vum. Gasbona na miya vum. The spirit was willing. But the wallet now. <laughs> because this arrangement was all of a sudden. It's like, man, are you able to come to South Africa tomorrow? And I did not want to show him that I'm, I'm this struggling artist. To say, hey, I get you sure if you could send just a thousand for the bus. I'm like, no, I'm coming, man. I'll be there tomorrow. Um, um, probably 11 a.m. fly. As you know the story, I borrow money around Paul and Kelly 10, Lily and Kelly 5, Mo and Kelly 3, PC and Kelly 20. I get $50. I go into the bus. I'm, hi, sorry, we are not taking equal cash. Cliff and Kelly 10, Konapa Kaiwa's many project here, 1,000 and years, I mind 990. You should have $10. He sends me the 10, we buy the rents, I get into the bus. 6 a.m. I'm in Pretoria. But I cannot pop up at the venue by 7. Because I'm supposed to be coming using a flight that lands at 11. And from Oaratambo, I'll take about two hours. So I just have to sit in Pretoria until half one-ish. You are just there in Pretoria. You know how South Africa is so scary. And there's so many people just passing by. So many languages. Amen. I'm holding my bag so tight. I'm sitting there. And I keep checking my phone. I'm hoping he will... Just text to find out if I left. Well, there's nothing. Until I get to the show, 2 p.m. Gets there. Hey, man, what's up? Uh, welcome. He then texts me to his uh, team, like the admin and the, the backing vocals. 
It's like, hey guys, this is my friend, um, Nego is from Zimbabwe. You guys just take care of him. I'm just there, I'm hungry, I'm not fat, I'm scared. I'm seeing all these beautiful ladies. I'm like, ah, it's a gospel. It's a One of them is, I'm a so lady. So, fam, you, you're really from Zimbabwe? Yeah, I'm from Zimbabwe. Oh, but your English sounds proper. <laughs> like even at this Asha. Asha doesn't know us well here in Zimbabwe. Time moves on. We get to the time of the show. I did my performance. It was before 30 people. I did well. And then the best part was in me just standing there and watching how he delivers. How he manages to get so much work done. And I was learning from him. And I was like, this, I will go and teach my fellow Zimbabwean worship teams. You see, we are tired in churches of military worship and forced worship. Dr. Dumi is calm. He just comes on stage. He stands there. Hallelujah, we're just going to worship God. He's going to worship God. Hallelujah. Just tell him I'm nothing without you. No. Just, just, you just love him tonight. Hallelujah. If it had not been for the Lord, who was always on my side, the enemy would have swallowed us, would have drowned in the waters. He starts playing his feet, but our souls are found and escaped, a hiding place in you. The Father's name is broken, and our help is in the name of the Lord. I'm nothing without you. And then the worship team joins. Without you. Hallelujah. You are the air that I breathe. Come just love him, family. Can't live without you. Can't live without you. Hallelujah, just love him. And the next minute, the whole church or the whole audience is going, Shakatana by Seta. Oh, Jesus. No one has been forced to what? To worship. Come to our Zimbabwean churches. Hallelujah. We want to worship him today. You people are not serious. Lift up your hands. We want to worship him. We want to worship him. We want to worship him today. Yeah, someone come and worship him. Lift up your eyes and close your hands. We want to worship him. Yes. After today, my life will never we never be the same again. Come on, come on, come on. After today, my life will never, you're not serious. We never be, be the same again. After today, someone, someone worship you, come on. We never be. After today, Hallelujah. We'll never be. Guys, we are tired of forced military worship. Eight o'clock, lift up your hands. Half eight, lift up your hands. Nine o'clock, lift up your hands. You can't teach you to see Pascal Zuko in Islam.
You find all people tired. Just worship and let the church be ushered in. Second thing I learned is the skill and the importance of writing new, fresh songs. I mean, who writes Wafi? Wafi Gagim. Natolo Pi Logunapa Gate. You feel moved to worship, you feel the message. Not some of these religious, meaningless songs that we are singing in our churches. Mambo Jesu Aifamba. Mambo Jesu Aifamba. And then what? We, 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 we could even be at the men's conference and then you hear someone saying, Vasikana, yeah, Vasikana, Mawaona, Vasikana, Vasikana, Mawaona, Vasikana. We need fresh songs. We need the church to be exciting. Talking about songwriting, <laughs> there is this couple that I once saw when I visited this church. I was doing some program for a month there. This is a Nigerian couple. And every Sunday, they just have an item to do. You know people like that at church? They just have a testimony or an item to do every Sunday. So every Sunday, that couple has an item to do. Just the two of them. And they are the whole choir. The wife is the lead singer. And the husband is the backing vocalist. <laughs> so what they do is they take any situation that they've gone through that whole week. It's a song. So they come on stage this very Sunday. The story behind their song is they had gone through um, a tough month. No food, no money, nothing. Things were hard. And then a sister miraculously called the wife to say, I just want to bless you with some money via eco cash. And that was a song. The woman comes here and says, She's just looking at her husband to see if the choir is ready as well. <laughs> you know that thing where you bring the choir and then you just have to check if the choir is sorted first. But it's just the husband. I was sitting, sitting in my room. We had the challenges, challenges with money. We had no food, we had not anything. It was a very, very difficult month. It was a very, very difficult month. It was a very, very difficult month. As we were seated just the other day, a sister called me and she said to me, I just want to bless you all with some money and I will send it to you on Nico Cash. And I 
I'll send it to you on Nico Cash. I will send it to you on Nico Cash. Immediately I took my phone into the charger next to my sofa. And one minute the Eco Cash came through. In the first place, it was going. In the next minute, it was going. learn to write new songs. <laughs> ah, I love you guys. Love you so much. And just the other day, as I was making, you know, I, I don't wake up, I'm not employed. So what do you guys think I'm always doing in my room? Just sitting there thinking of nothing. I just begin to miss Vuyo. Vuyo Mkwena, suddenly the the thought comes heavy on my mind. And I, I start singing his songs and I start analyzing his voice. I don't know if you guys have realized when Vuyo was singing, you, you could never hear what he's saying in the middle of his lines. He, 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 he would just go, the words you could hear is Njalo and Baba. In the center here, you could never tell what he is saying. And to all the men in the house, what if he was taking all your wives in your presence? Your father is all total. Zoktotel and Jale. No further than a song to tell No further than a song to Even charm a sister in church. When I see who's on comb and bell, I wear the second the arm of Nagale. And when who's on comb and bell, I wear the second the arm of Nagale. I come back from SA from Dr. Tumi's show. He paid me so well. I don't want to lie. After the show, he paid me so well. But remember, there are hands <laughs> that are waiting for me at the border. And you know how they ask for their money. <laughs> how far, brah? Then you blue tick them. Then they send you the picture. That they got on Facebook. Ah, uchunile pra, talk to me. Ah, uchunile pra. And immediately you know they are not wishing you well. They are not congratulating you. They just want their money. I come back into Zim. Beginning of October, rates start going. The money that I had, I could not do anything much. I have to pay back everyone that I owe. Pay back everyone that I owe. I'm left at zero again. I get a gig in Harare, Janet Manuel's gig. It was paying okay, but I had charged in the other currency that by the time they gave me my money, that currency had gone to be with the Lord. 
I just took my change and I came back home, just did a few things. I'm on zero again. It's October. Things are getting bad and hard. Shortages of everything everywhere. But one thing that really hit a lot of people was the shortage of cooking oil. Cooking oil went so scarce to an extent that in my church, the whole of October and November, we never held an anointing service. <laughs> I think every time the pastor will be like, okay, we, we are, uh, I'm going to just uh, put this in the boot, we have an anointing. cooking oil, uh, nobody, we, you know, we have. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, Savona, 2019, no, okay, anointing. You know, there are types of mindfulnesses or pastors' wives. I'll put them into three categories. There are some pastors' wives that are pastors in their own right as well. They are a wife to a pastor, but they are pastors as well. They are called. They just go into church, they understand the vision, they participate in the vision. They're just laid back. They don't want to be too forward. They're just cool. The second set is the ones that are just wives to the pastors, but they are not called. But they, are, they respect, they understand the vision, they help their men out, they understand. Whatever the man says, they do it. <laughs> and then the last set, they are not called to be ministers and they don't support their husband. And we see them in church by the way they do things. You can tell that ah, this mindfulness is in. They are just all over ushering, they are there. They carry their husband's Bible to the pulpit. They get there, they take the mic, they start singing. They just do all this, they're just there everywhere. Even on the posters. When pastors are advertising the conference, the way that they appear is different from the way other pastors and their wives appear. I know it's a norm, it's a trend nowadays, nowadays that the pastor uh, stands somewhere here and the wife is somewhere here on the poster. And the poster reads, um, Prophet so and so and Amai, uh, or Prophet so and so and uh, Mrs. Nebu, but and stuff like that. <laughs> Prophet Nehu and Mrs. You understand, just standing here. But when you look at some posters, you can tell that this wife was like, I also want to be here. Why do you want to hold me and put me here? I also want to be here. <laughs> and most of them who are like that, they are fat. And they just waste the whole space in the poster. <laughs> The next thing about Salwana can never see the other details on the poster. The husband and the wife are just... Cooking oil was a shortage. Everything was a shortage. Things were hard. I was crying with everybody. And then we got into the beginning of November. I'm like, ah, well, I've seen 2018. Ah, I, think, I think I've had enough of laws. Let me, let me just trust God and we jump into 2019. I wake up one morning, um, just about to open my phone. And I see messages from different people. And there is a message from message from from Bay. Um, it's normally the first one that I open, so I open that message, and to the shock of my life, like um, tuba A B C D E F G H I J K. Long story short, I, I I think we should just part ways. I'm like, okay. We, we are parting ways now. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm okay. I'm, I'm all right. It's okay. We, we part ways. And one thing that left me with so much pain is where will I get this kind of a beautiful woman in the world again? Because I've always had an eye for beautiful women. And I want to marry a beautiful woman. You know why? For the sake of children... For the sake of children, 
You know when your children are beautiful, there's always that difference when your children are cute. You get a chance to be called by Edgar's like, hi, Nego, um, we just want to do a photo shoot and can we have your kid just coming through for the photo shoot and you just send your, your, your little Nego Gazi, she goes then posing for photo. Um, when your child is otherwise, every time there is a cholera outbreak, hello, <laughs> we just want to do this magazine portfolio and we were thinking we could have your child among others there. There's always a difference when your child is beautiful or otherwise. Come to church. When your child is beautiful or cute, everyone comes to the child, they're just holding the child. Everyone wants to hold the baby. When your child is ugly, they just come near the prayer and, we are cool, auntie. Ah, we are. Ah, we are cool as you are. cool as you are. Fagum tanami timonu wa ma post. It's important to have a beautiful child. <laughs> Just thinking of something. Have you ever realized that even in church, when it's Sunday school, Christmas carols, if your child is beautiful, they'll just give you a role of Jesus or Mary. But if your child is... Ugly, <laughs> you are there as a parent, you're like, ah, then you see your child coming. November, mid, November end, still broke. We get into December. I'm so excited, first of December. I'm like, ah, oh, well, we're in December after all. Ah, we are done with 2018. I advertise my show. I'm so excited about this show. Then the next day I wake up, no voice. Then I have this blister, big, big blister on my mouth. I don't know what you call it here in Africa. What's that? Ngolapsu? Sick by night, huh? Oh, yeah. So I had a sick by night <laughs> on my mouth and I'm saying, okay, but this show is supposed to lift me up and help me. And I have no voice. What do I do? I, I, I normally don't go into hospitals. I normally... I'm like, I will live by faith. Huh? But it got so bad until I went to seek for medical attention. Take note, I didn't go to the hospital. I went for medical. <laughs> attention. Because there are some health institutions that when you are going there, you're not sick. <clears throat> you're just there for medical <clears throat> attention. I go there, I'm like, hey guys, um, 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 the other nurse looks at me. Oh, the nurse is like, oh, no guys, I'm really sick. Can you guys help me? And then the other nurse on the background. It was a taste of my medicine. But you know what? We are in December. 
here we are doing the show. It was a one long January broke throughout. But God keeps his own. And the Bible says in Malachi 3 verse number 16, there shall be a distinction between them that love God and know him and them that know him not. And I'll encourage you to seek this Jesus wherever you are, wherever you're watching this. And he will sustain you. Oh, I feel like having a pulpit here. And I can, I can see some of you going, ah, Zekalisile, nasesifunugu hamba. Have you guys been to a church service? Your pastor comes to the pulpit, he talks and he talks for about one hour thirty until it's quarter to Thursday and you want to go. And you, you're like, okay, now I think he's wrapping up and we, we are leaving. And then just when you are thinking he is wrapping up, he then says, I'm, I'm not preaching today, we have a guest in the house. <laughs> Not gonna preach. Uh, I know you guys wanna go, but you know what? This is December. Be December. You can go out of the house, see your thing, and take time, and come back after three days. What to figure it in the bed? How? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I love you all. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, please give it up one more time for Nero.